Hey guys, uh, welcome to Mr. Raja show. So today I happen to visit the uh, Sri Vardaraja Perumal temple that's uh, located in Kanjipuram. If you guys already doesn't know what's the speciality of this temple is that uh, the Vardaraja uh, Perumal that you are looking at the uh, uh, screen, uh, this statue is taken out of the water only once in 40 years and uh, you get to see uh, him only for 48 days okay that starts in july uh, first and uh, it will be winded up uh, by uh, mid of august okay so you can see him only 40 years once and he stays only for 48 days on the land and again he will be emerged inside the water that you're looking in, in his very same temple okay so that's the speciality so in this video guys i'm not going to talk about the history or uh, the background about this temple you can find the description where i have provided the links for uh, the history of the temple and the reason why he is emerged in water but uh, this video is all about um, where to start and how long it's gonna take to reach and uh, since it's only available for 48 days um, the number of people visiting the temple will be more <clears throat> so there are very long waiting queues so i'm going to tell you how much time it is going to take and what all the facilities are available in between in the temple while you wait <clears throat> okay so let's see i started at uh, wanderlur junction uh, that's a common point if you guys are coming from uh, South Tamil Nadu or Bangalore uh, you you can find that Bandalur is the main junction you can get down there I started 4 30 a.m. there and uh, I reached uh, the temple at uh, 5 20 or 5 25 so it took about uh, one hour there so this is the route map <coughs> this is the route map and you can see you have to go by Patapai, Oragadam and then the Walajabad so in Walajabad you have to take a right in the junction and it's about 10 kilometers from Walajabad where you will find the Varadraja Perumal temple on the main road itself that's where it ends okay so at uh, 5 30 I reached uh, the temple but not exactly the temple but around the temple the reason is because the actual darshan starts at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning and it is uh, open till 5 o'clock in the evening and on special days like uh, Saturdays and Sundays it's open till 8 o'clock okay because the large amount of people are already coming to see the uh, Adi Varadar <coughs> so that's the reason it's open for such a long time to facilitate the Bhaktas uh, I reached there by 525 and uh, astonishingly I found that the queue length is very abnormal it came out of temple and uh, actually the main entrance it is at uh, east gobram east facing uh, entrance but the queue was standing till uh, south madavidi okay that you can look at by yourself so i had to walk all the way from east uh, entrance to the south madavidi and uh, it's about uh, 200 to 300 meters guys that you have to walk and this is not the official uh, queue this, this is people made them by themselves you know and but on the way you can find uh, disposable restrooms for men and women and there are these temporary shops on either side of the road uh, to provide uh, water and cool drinks so that you don't feel thirsty so that's one good thing and uh, so this is actually the main entrance this is where the official uh, queue starts um, from the south madavidi to we come to the east madavidi so this is where it starts and uh, it was already six o'clock by the time i reached from the external queue to the official queue and on the way you can see uh, you can leave your slippers here and uh, i saw the booth for you know 50 rupees uh, special entrance but uh, there were no one available at the time it was about 6 6 15 when i reached uh, here but 
there were no one to provide me any special tickets i think uh, the government has opened the online booking only i'm not sure about that um so i reached here and on the way you can see this is uh, ramanuja's uh, sacred well it's a sacred because uh, the guru of ramanuja uh, used this well so that's why it's called uh, the ramanuja sacred well but you you need to get out of line to see these things which will be problematic situation and this is the second chamber which i reached by 6:30 it took one hour to reach the second chamber and about after 20 minutes you can reach the you can see the actual entrance of the temple now only you can see you can see that at 6:50 i actually entered the temple's uh, east facing uh, entrance and again there is one more chamber here and this will take about another 20 minutes to cross so by the time you reach the uh, final chamber that is chamber 5 uh, that's inside the temple this chamber is the actually inside the temple so by the time you know i reached by 5:30 and it took me around uh, 1 hour 45 minutes in queue to reach the chamber that's inside the uh, temple located okay, inside temple so this is going to be like a straight line and it's going to take us a uh, 90 degree right cut and it's going to go straight all the way see my cursor and here is where uh, the line again splits takes a right here and that's where the adivaradar is located um so i, I reached here by 7:15 to this chamber and it was exactly at 8:30 i was able to um see the adivaradar i was able to see only for 5 seconds there's a lot of crowd so uh, the policemen keep pushing you and they you know the bhaktas go crazy and they all like they stand there uh, no matter what people scold you they will simply stand there and uh, watch adivaradar so it's a very commotion emotional situation where you can't really concentrate and see him but uh, this is the final destination of the 3 hours long journey guys so i reached the temple at 5:30 at 6 o'clock i reached the official entrance and chamber 1 chamber 2 chamber 3 and it, it's like 30 minutes each one hour long the final chamber and i reached after 3 hours of waiting in queue i saw the brother um so there are you know um medical amenities available uh, in each chamber so that's a good thing there are i can see few doctors there i'm not sure whether they are doctors but i saw them with white coats they had these uh, um you know oral solutions oxygen tanks that's a good thing and they are serving water uh, uh, throughout the queue so you may not be worried about uh, this thing and one important thing i forgot to say is uh, um for elderly people no above 60 senior citizens there is a battery car service available but uh, it's not available until the uh, second chamber okay i showed you the one which actually enters the entrance right so that is from where you can actually avail the uh, battery car services but i'm not sure whether it's free but people above the age of 60 can use handicaps pregnant ladies uh, i think even Uh, people who are carrying uh, in childs like below 2 years even they were availing the services so these are the government amenities uh, medicines water um, then the battery car services were provided by the government to facilitate a uh, visit um so this was very hu- uh, useful for you guys um hope uh, you will get to see adivar other before the time ends because if you miss that it's going to be next 40 years that you have to wait and we don't even know whether we all will be alive by that time uh thanks for watching my video guys if you have any other questions regarding uh anything you can ask me in the comment section and i'll be available to respond to your queries within 2 hours max okay thanks for watching this video guys have a good day